Well, you know Joel and Luke Smallbone as the brothers from the superstar Christian pop duo for King and Country. But you may not know about the years of struggle and faith that were behind their rise to fame. It's all in a very inspiring new book called Beyond the Lights. And it's written by the woman who, well, without a doubt, knows them best, the one they call their unsung hero. Would you please welcome their mom, Helen Smallbone. Helen, welcome. Thank you. I love the book, and I even told Joel and Luke before the show, I said, what I loved about the book was the honesty of it. You, you didn't try to say, well, we were a family <laughs> of faith, and everything worked out just gorgeously for us. Because it, it didn't. It's not a real story when that really happens anyway, because <laughs> every life is made up of ups and downs. And you had some tough times some leaving tough Australia. Mm -hmm. The business that you had fell apart. Mm -hmm. And you basically were starting all over, moving your family of eight kids to the US. Mm -hmm. Must have been scary. Very scary. Um, I think God closed a number of doors that made us have no out. We had to just move forward. And we basically had to move forward in trust. And people usually don't make a big life change without a little nest egg, a little something to rely on. Yeah. And we had nothing. Um, so we really had to rely on God. And I think that impacted not only my husband David's and my life in a very deep way, but the kids actually were a part of that experience. And they saw God move. They saw God bring miracles into our life. There were some tough times. People see for king and country now, your daughter, Rebecca St. James, they say, what a successful family. They don't know the hardships. Were you ever worried that your children might grow up with bitterness and anger toward God rather than, as they've turned out, amazing servants of his? No, probably because I, I always think that we've got to look at life with the glass half full. We've always got to see, look at things from a positive perspective. If we look at things from a negative perspective or have a pity party, then bitterness and hardness will enter our hearts. And that's where those, you know, you end up being mad at God. Why did you do this? Why have you done this? But if you can keep a positive spirit, if you can keep looking for God's hand, which we saw because he provided for us, then you, you, you have hope. So you take that next step forward. What a beautiful testimony. Now, you know, we have some guys who are going to do a little music for us tonight, this band, they're called for King and Country. <laughs> uh, they're pretty good. Um, we're going to ask, I, I think we'll just get Joel and Luke to come out here and say hello to us while <laughs> we're talking. So, Joel and Luke, are you in the building? If you are, right now is the time to come. You know, Joel, I've known you probably better than Luke. I was so thrilled how nice your mother treated you in the book because I, I just thought she was very generous and charitable. Hey, have, you give, have you given anyone a backstory to our story, by the way? <laughs> no, we'll save that for another time. Oh. <laughs> but someday we will do that because these guys are two of the hardest working, most innovative, creative people, not just in the Christian music space, but in the music world today. And I love them, and I love what God is doing with them. Mm. I really do. Thank you, Governor. Yeah. Guys, you wrote a song. You're going to do it a little later for us. Right. And it's called Unsung Hero. Who's that song about? Well, before we get to that, just very quickly, a, a couple <laughs> sentences. So our backstory, Governor and I, um, when we were fledgling artists, um, in our 20s, I needed extra work. So my brother Josh, our brother Josh worked at a speaker's bureau and uh, Governor Huckabee was one of the uh, clients. And so we'd go out on these book tours. So I was the assistant that would pick up all of the <laughs> catering and uh, give these pictures of us, I mean, handing yeah. the books uh, during the signings <laughs> and so on. And he was so kind. I remember we, because we were just working on, you know, music very early. Uh, each day when we were signing books on the bus, he would put the headphones on. 
And um, he, I would play him demos, and he would give me honest feedback. And that, <laughs> you, you were, before anyone cared, speaking of unsung heroes, before anyone cared, you were a bit of a hero. The bass so was never you. loud enough. For, for yeah, he did make some comments about Herb, the bass guitar. It's like, you know, it's not more cowbell, it's more bass. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> And so here, ironically enough, so we, it was the beginning of the pandemic, and uh, we realized that we weren't going anywhere, we weren't going to be allowed to do many shows, so we thought we should write an album. Yeah. And so uh, it was the first kind of writing session that we had done uh, during that time, and uh, we had written a couple of songs that were okay, and so I had come into the studio and said, hey, we should write a, uh, write a song for Dad. And, uh, and Joel To which goes, I replied, no, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Dad. He's but, in the but, audience. But I said we... I, he's I, not I, smiling. No, he's not smiling. <laughs> Just, we don't would, look, uh, don't look. He's a serious bloke. We, I said, we, I would love to write a song about mum, uh, though. Yeah. And so we basically ended up writing a song, well, for mum, but for, for about parents, for, for, for yeah. people that do the invisible things that matter mm. in our lives. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the thing that parents do... Uh, it's a thankless task, right? But if they're if they're doing if they're teaching kids the, the, the things that matter, they're actually the things that you can't see. They're, they're not the things that you know show up at school and they say, "Oh, this person has been well parented." It's it's in character. It's fear of God. It's fear, th those types of things. And so anyway, we basically uh, wrote a song about parents. But uh, but the, the the majority of that song is is the inspiration of our, our mother who did those things. You know, I said some, something to uh, someone the other day. I said, you know, my mom, um, for the big moments where things could have gone awry, I don't remember her ever missing that conversation yeah. with me. My it was mom. always a rich conversation where I w went away feeling uh, built up or taught a an important lesson. And uh, to be honest, I, I, I hope to be able to do the same for, for my kids, you know. It, what's beautiful about that is that, Helen, there were eight of these kids and seven. you were seven. 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 Mm -hmm. I just plus gave the, you another plus, one. Plus the yeah. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Okay, seven children. I, where mm -hmm. did they get eight? Seven's a perfect number. But seven is, a, is still, that's a handful. It is. And yet all seven grew up believing that you had time for them and that you never short, shorted the time to give them the love and the encouragement that they needed. What, what a great well, it testimony. Was, it, it was a full-time work. Like sure. I, I, I look at my life and I think if you take from the time I had our first, which was Rebecca, to the time our youngest graduated, that's 32 years uh. of active full-time mothering. And then you add in there we homeschooled as well for a majority of that time or a lot of that time. Um, yeah, it, it, it's not for the faint-hearted. And you add in Joel. Yeah. Like that, that that's I where totally you're that's understand. where you're getting the, the eighth kid from. Is that I was sort of so much to handle. That was two kids at the same that's time. That's where you know what? That's exactly right. Yeah. Well, this is the book right here. It's called Behind the Lights by Helen Smallbone. It is available right now. And I hope you'll find her inspiring book. I've read this and it is just an encouragement. And also the great music of Four King and Country. If you want to know all about that, we have it for you with links at Huckabee.tv.